Hello, fishes, and welcome to <laughs> a game that I have not thought about in a really long time. And I guarantee you there will not be too many people who are searching for this and who do, like, you know, know what this game is. And so don't expect this to do too well on YouTube. But I want to do a thing where I play a bunch of nostalgia games for me growing up. Games that I played on, you know, regular discs. So I had to hunt down the discs for these games and a disc drive for my computer and hope that they work um, with the new PCs. Um, so starting off, I don't know if I'll like make this a series or you know keep doing this because there's a bunch of games that I would love to play uh, again that I haven't thought about in ages. Um, but the first one uh, that I have decided to play is a game called Clue Finders: uh, Third Grade Adventures. So you guys get to see how smart I truly am. Because this is one of those edutainment, you know, early or late 90s, early 2000s concept where they, you know, make computer games that for learning and, you know, you know, to help kids learn by making it fun. And my school, my school sold these. They have third through sixth grade of the Clue Finders. But then they also have a couple that aren't like grade specific ones um, that, you know, I have played as well. But yeah, I don't like I don't know why my school sold them. Don't know what the benefit of the school selling them was, but this is the first one I've decided to play. So uh let's dive on in and we're gonna hope that this records well because oh boy, it was rough trying to get this disc. Is everything still good? I think everything's still good. Okay. Deep in the Numerian Rainforest. Dr. Pythagoras, Mafra took another animal last night. Everyone is terrified. <laughs> oh, oh, the Black pixels. Mafra is just an old Numerian superstition. There's a simple explanation for what's happening here, and I think I know what it is. Tomorrow, you and I will set off to find the two keys to the ancient city, and... Dr. Pythagoras, look out! Call the Clue Finders! Oh no, Dr. Pythagoras! So, you want to know what happens? Okay. Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign uh, so I already this piece of paper. So I already did uh, just a, a test run. I haven't played any of it. I mean, I already know what happens, but we'll do a new player sign-in. And we'll just see if it lets... Oh, I cannot do the same one. So, uh, we'll just do cast then. Ooh, now you get um, to decide. We're gonna... <laughs> I might regret doing this, but I'm, I'm, I, I want to believe I'm smarter than a third grader. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. We're getting there, Joni. But frankly, I don't know what you kids can do. Was Dr. Pythagoras really taken by a monster? Well, peanuts, anyone? That's what folks are saying. And there's an old superstition about a monster in a lost city. Superstition? Lost city? Monster! Peanuts? Owen! Oh, yes. <laughs> I oh my gosh, game. this is such nostalgia. That's right, Leslie. <laughs> People say that a city named Numeria existed in this rainforest more than a thousand years ago. The wise Numerians were great inventors. They built up a great city, and they might still be in that city today if it hadn't been for Mathra. Mathra. One dark night, a hideous monster named Mathra appeared as if out of nowhere. The Numerians lived in terror as night after night, the evil beast attacked the wild creatures of the forest. Eventually, the Numerians captured Mathra and locked him in a deep dungeon. But they were afraid that Mathra might escape and terrorize them again. So they left their beloved city 
never to return. They locked the city gate with a golden key and split the key in two. They buried the keys in puzzles in two corners of the rainforest, hoping that this way, only the wise and the worthy would be able to enter their city. The Numerians still live in the cities and villages around here, but the location of their ancient city remains hidden to this day. To this day. Now it seems Mathura is back. And he's got Joni's uncle Horace. Hmm. I bet Mathura took him to that lost city. Owen's right. We've got to get into that city. Uh, how are you going to do that? No one knows where it is. I do. <laughs> Who are you? I am Laptrap, oh, the yeah. Turbo Turtle. The Turbo Turtle. Horace knew where to find the two keys <laughs> and the lost city. Oh and my gosh. before he disappeared, he recorded the locations on a map in one of my programs. Hmm. Hmm. See? It looks like one key is in the Monkey Kingdom, and the other is in the Goo Lagoon. Okay, listen up. Santiago, Laptrap, and I will go out and find the keys. Cool. Leslie and I will use the video link and be your backup. Right. Anytime you can't figure out what to do, <laughs> use Santiago's red video phone to call us for help. Uh, video and phone. Store things in my in the in the this 90s or early so 2000s. Anytime anyone needs a break, go wants to see the map, use me. Thank you, Lamp Trap. Let's get going. We gotta find those keys. <laughs> Where should we start? You decide. Mm, Monkey Kingdom or Goo Lagoon? Mm. We'll go Monkey Kingdom, because you always go left first. I'm going to guess this is the kingdom, though, right there. Joni, Santiago, look out for that vine! Oh, lap trap, stop worrying so we can... Whoa! Hey! Oh, dear. <laughs> Is blue. <laughs> What's that? I am Vasco de Bongo, king of the Monkeystadors. A monkey king? Listen, I'll be monkey Allah king if you can't help us. Mathra is on the loose. He's eating pumas and parrots, and pretty soon he'll be craving a monkey milkshake. Hmm, unless... Unless? Unless you furlish chimpanzees can find the two keys to the lost city. That's just what we're after. Do you know how we can find a key? I know how you can find one of them. Just take either path across my monkey kingdom, and then cross the five rings of volcanic... Fire! Volcanic fire? I crossed the rings of fire myself, but I, uh, uh, sprained my tail. Naturally, you'll need sneezeberries, but my fellow Monquistadors will gladly give them to you. Monquistadors. Course, you may need to do them some little favors in return. Stop the presses! What exactly are sneezeberries? Little berries of many colors. Uh, blue, green, red, purple, and gold. The ancient Numerians planted the sneezeberry bushes long ago. Listen, Bingo. Bongo. Bongo? Bingo. We don't have time for berry picking. We're... Without these berries, you'll never make it across the rings of fire. Or the man, I mean monkey. Let's go find those sneezeberries. I, I think we should go sneezeberries. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, let's come on. There we go. But yes, this is definitely one of those early uh, edutainment games. Oh dear me, Yuck-tober. I'm Queen Ichibella. And my pet flubberwalk, that sweet animal over there, is angry. What's eating him? I mark his feeding days on this calendar, and he wants to know when his next feeding day is. 
but the marker has fallen off. King Vasco sent me this scroll with instructions for finding the date. But I can't figure out what he means. If you place the marker on my Flabberwock's next feeding date, I'll give you golden sneezeberries as a reward. It seems fair enough. It's on the third week. One of its factors is three, and the digits add up to six. Well, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna guess it's... Ah, Thank yeah! Thank you so much! You've <laughs> solved my problem! Sorry, Flabby dear. Today is not a feeding day. Here are your sneezeberries! <laughs> Thanks for the sneezeberries, your highness. Beautiful. Uh, can I do it again? Okay, well, we're just gonna go on our merry way. <laughs> right. Yeah, a monster! I'm not afraid of monsters. I don't believe in monsters. <laughs> don't believe? You've gotta believe! I forgot these games had a real bop. Let me tell you why. Long ago there lived a monster who rose up from the deep. He terrorized the jungle, allowed Numeria no sleep. He attacked the jungle animals, left mother's cubs to weep. So the Numerians took action and set out to trap the creep. Do you believe in monsters? From ancient history. Do you believe that we were sitting pretty Till he rose from the lost city hungrily? Do you believe in monsters Flying from the sky? Do you believe you'll catch that puma addict With a little mathematics you'll apply? Um, there's more, so we'll, uh... The Numerian. <laughs> oh, no. fearful. They did not know what to do. So they trapped him underground. Then they cut the key in two. For a thousand years he slumbered. Now he's risen up to feast. The whole rainforest sings this chorus. Find the key and find the beast. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the gloom. Position. If you're not good at addition, then where do Do you believe in monsters rising from the grave? Do you believe our humble supplication? We use multiplication and we're saved. There's one more. <laughs> the situation's dire. Time's running low. You must cross the rings of fire. Hurry up, it's time to go. I know that you can make it. You will brave the monster's wrath. I'd really like to help you, but I'm just no good at math. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the grave. If you believe that using calculation, you'll select the operation. Then we're saved. Do you believe in monsters from ancient history? The only hope I see is that you'll find the two lost keys. Do you believe in monsters? Yeah, uh, so <laughs> that's the songs. Um, we're going to go up. But yeah, no, this, <laughs> this that just brings back so many memories. <laughs> Yo! 
Yuck! Oh, what's in there? You don't want to know. Just help me rope it off. On the stones, there are numbers that tell you how long the sides of the pit are. Put into my paw the vine that will fit exactly around the pit. Make sure there's nothing left over. In return, I'll gladly donate a bunch of sneezeberries to your noble cause. Thank you. Uh, so 12 plus 9, that's uh, 21. 21 times 2 is 40. Uh, no, it's 21. <laughs> 21 times 2 is 42. Oh, yes, that's it. I'll no, rope this off. It's 108. And here are your sneeze berries. Here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. Let's keep going, Santiago. Going this way. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, let's go. Want to know more about Mathra? All you need to do is ask. Yeah, I want to listen to the whole thing. This is the map of Numeria. You can use it to travel to other places in your game area. Okay. Into game. This way. Oh, go this way. Ow! Oh! Oh! Uh, some guard I am. Ow! While putting King Vasco's money away, my tail got caught. To get my tail out of here, ow! Ooh, I, I gotta put the right amount of money into the slot, but I can't reach it. Help me out, ow! Uh, and I'll give you some sneeze berries. Uh. There. That one. 70. Oh, sorry. I didn't work. I didn't show my math. I apologize. Oof. You saved my tail. Here are your sneeze berries. Thank you. Thanks. We're off, Santiago. This way. Oh, that was walking animations, man. Hmm. I need purple. Wow. Do I have purple? I don't have purple. Well then let's go back to the start hmm. and go up instead. He has no soul. Ah! Furless chimpanzees! I bet you're looking for some sneeze berries. Help me out, and I'll give you some. That noisy Mathra keeps flying over here and knocking down my address stones. I've got <laughs> room over my stones. doorway for four stones. Place four stones from the ground up there to give me the greatest possible odd number for an address. Only the biggest possible odd number you can make will do. Okay. Forty... No. Fifty-one. Ah! They almost got me! Oh, thanks a bunch! Here! Take some sneeze berries! Thanks! Hope all your mail arrives safely. <laughs> Gotta save the mail. It's very important. What's that? Stand back, Furless Ones. This is a relic dropped from the sky by Mathra. Let's take a look. <gasps> a clue? At what is really going on? Aviatron engine oil? Joni, what's going on? Doesn't aviation mean flying? Yeah. What would an ancient flying beast be doing with a can of engine oil? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on! Mm hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh boy, I did it again. King Vasco's really gonna be mad. I was polishing this monument to our great Monquistador leaders, and I knocked off a number plate. 
Could you put the right number plate back up for me? I'll give you a bunch of sneeze berries. Okay. So we gotta show our work. So King Treetop the fifth, the fourth, the fourth rule began in 1844 and ended in 1853. So you minus 1844 by 18 or 1853 and you get died. Wow, are you smart. I'm so smart. Thank you so much. And here are your sneeze berries. Here are your sneeze berries. Looks like I think I have all of the sneeze berries I need now. I got all five. Okay, let's go. Map. Oh, I gotta do the bridge. The bridge is very important. Who goes there? Be gone. All bridges across this ravine have long since been destroyed. Go back where you came from. I can get across this ravine. This is no big deal. <laughs> There's a better way than that, Joni. If we move two rocks with the same weight as the big rock onto the other end of the tree limb, it will make a level bridge for us. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Perhaps you will cross after all. Snakes, snakes, snakes. So, 296.2 kilograms. So I got to add. So this would be 2.2, .2, okay. Uh, 5 plus 7, that's 13. Oh, that's 12. Plus 1, that's 13. No, that's not going to be enough. Uh, a, I think it's this one. <laughs> the tree limb is level. We can cross. Goodbye, snakes. Let's Goodbye, go, Santiago. snakes. This is very crucial to the story. You needed to know this. Boosh. And we're back to Look the rings of rings. fire. We need to cross this bridge. But how? On my five bridges, five clues are hidden. To find clues and a key to what you are bidden. Mm. Look on my head. See the numbers? Decide. Add them. Subtract them. Multiply or divide. Then, on my bridge, mark the number you found. And watch for a letter as a tile turns around. Ten letters per bridge must be uncovered then enter my cave a key to discover to cross this bridge purple sneezeberries you'll need see if you have them before you proceed do we have purple sneezeberries let they do we still need to uncover some letters let's pick a tile okay so you gotta, this is like a trial and error thing, so you gotta do 52 plus 2, that's 54, so I go 54. So that wasn't it. Although your answer is true, this is not the number you seek. Try another operation. So I could do minus, but that's 50 and there's nothing around 50, so I'm gonna assume it's not a night. Don't think it's times because it doesn't go over 200, so we're going to divide. So 52 divided by 2, that's 26. <laughs> Most ingenious. Okay, 535 plus 8. 
43. Yeah. So let's uh, try 43. Wise indeed. Uh, 43. Uh, 43 plus 24. 57. Maybe. Excellent. Forty-two. I mean, at this point, I don't have to do. I can just guess. <laughs> no operation will take you to that number. Nonetheless, you've uncovered a letter. So yeah, you you could trial and error your way through this. But I mean, once you get the first few, logic dictates Most. that uh, it's gonna be a. These no operation. So. <laughs> Wise indeed. And you two berries have left done over. Well, and uncovered the first clue. Uncover four more, and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Here yeah. we go. Cross the purple marble bridge. With your weird checkered shadows. Aren't we there yet? I'm going to have to change my batteries really soon. Lap Trap, you should have thought of that before we left. Don't worry, Lap Trap. Santiago and I have thought of everything. That's right. Uh, so, you brought the food, right, Joni? Food? Uh-oh. No food. We're gonna die. To cross this bridge, green sneezeberry... See, now there's less clues to work off of, so now there's going to be more problems. We still need problems. to uncover some letters. Let's pick a tile. Okay, 43 plus... Well, that's not going to work because it's below 100. Uh, 43 times... Uh, 46 times 3 will get us what we need. And that's is... A 9... Oh, uh, no. 18... Because... 138. Yee. So correct. Yee. Uh, 310. Well, it's not plus, minus, multiply, or so it's got to be divide. I think that's a 3. Uh, 310 divided by 5. Six times. Uh, Thirty. Sixty-two. No, not gonna work. Okay. Um. I am unsure by this. Oh. <laughs> See, that's very crucial. See, it's an eight. <laughs> It's 810, not 310. Okay. Um, 810. Oh, 5 is one time. Uh, 5. 162? Yeah, see, that's very crucial information not Most to lose. Genius. <laughs> okay, 155. Plus 37. I'm going to assume that's 155. It might be 4. I don't know. 192. That's possible. Although your answer is true, this is not the number okay, so you seek. One. Try another operation. Minus then. 
minus 37, that's 18. I'm looking at me, weirdo. Well done. Okay, eight thirty-two. Um, again, it's probably it's gonna be divide then. Okay, so six goes into eight one time. Thirty-two. I have a little notepad that I'm writing. <laughs> I'm doing the math. I'm not doing this in my head. Believe me, I'm not that good. I have a little notepad. Oh, it would help if I wrote the right number. That would definitely help. Uh, 142. Well done. Okay. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start taking shots in the dark with these two. <laughs> no operation. Don't talk to me. So correct. Is it this one? This one with one Most left over. Genius. <laughs> Next, the ear. I think about this. Your hard work has revealed the second clue. Yeah. Uncover three more, and you may enter my cave. Thank you, thank you, Rockman. Thank you. We'll call you, you Dwayne. You may cross. Thank you, Dwayne. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Onward, Joni. <laughs> so you kids have caught a <laughs> lot of monsters before, right? Well, no monsters, but... Lab trap. Get a clue. We're the Clue Finders. We're famous. We have a website. Oh, silly me. To cross <gasps> oh, no. this bridge, There's nothing to build off of. Red sneezeberries you'll need. We need to uncover ten letters in all. Okay, eight Which forty, should we pick? 868. Again, I'm going to do divide. By four, two, two goes in this eight, two goes into four goes into six one time, two ones to seventeen. E. A. So correct. A. A two sixty eight minus three. Don't need I can do that one in my head. That would be 265. 265. Yeah. So correct. 250, 259. Let's do plus. 59 plus uh, 59 plus 16. That's 275. That is a possibility. Yeah. So correct. So correct. Now twenty six times nine. Nine. Boost. Four. To two thirty four. To the two thirty four. Two three four. Yeah. Excellent. Aye, hi. Uh, two seventeen, two seventy-two minus seventeen. Two seventy-two minus seventeen. Two fifty-five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Ayath, ayathai, ayathai. 
885 divided by 3. 885 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8. Three times, no, two times, two, two ninety five. I'm gonna guess that this is one of them. Your mind is keen, I'm like battleship. I guess you. No operation. We'll take you to that number. Nonetheless, you've uncovered a letter. 219 plus 14, 233. Yeah, that could be one. Well done. Uh, well done. Ah, I didn't know if it was that or this one. Excellent. Ah, knee third. A knee third. Do it. Is that it? Or do I need more sneezeberries? Behold, you have discovered the third clue. Cool. Uncover two more, and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Nice work. Now, can we go back? Walk, walk, walk. Wait a hey. minute. Have you guys even considered what we're going to do when we catch up with Mathra? Well, uh, I'm working on it. Okay, guys. To cross this bridge, blue sneezeberries, your mm, you. We need to uncover ten letters in all. Again, Which tile should we pick? Divination is probably the best bet. Nine fifty-seven divided by three. Three goes into three. Three goes into nine three times. Three nineteen. What's the mark? Did I do my math right? Oh, good. It's good. Your good. mind is keen. Oh. oh. 46 times. 46 times 8. Three, 368. 368. Wise indeed. Okay, 347. I'm going to subtract that one. That seems like my best bet. Th no, 347 minus 38. It's 309. Seems like the best bet. <laughs> Well done. Need a new piece of paper. I've run out of room on mine. <laughs> Luckily, I have my uh, handy dandy notepad. Okay. 58 times 6. I got a blow of soup. It's times because that's the only thing that's going to get us into the 300s. 6 times 8. That's 40, no, yeah, 48, and uh, 6 times 5, that's, uh, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 4, 348, right? 348. So correct. So correct. Shot in the dark here. 
No operation will take you to that number. Nonetheless, Three, you've uncovered a letter. I doubt that's gonna be it. So three... That would be, so, it's subtraction. So 360 minus 330, or by 33, 7, so 327. I uh, doubt it. It's either 327 or 393. Dang. I had a 50-50 shot of getting it right. Well done. Three seventy two minus fourteen eight six five three fifty eight. Yeah. Now your now mind is one, keen. Now one O. Oh. I have two shots at this. Seven eighty-eight divided by two. Two goes into seven. Three times a six is eighteen. Two goes into eight. Nine times this nine zero eight. Two goes into four. Three I do four. Most ingenious. Ought. Now one ought. I don't think I have enough for this. Uh, I'm one berry short. No! No operation. No, I didn't want to go. I wanted to click lap. I wanted lap trap. Give me lap trap. Lap trap me. I need more blueberries. Ah! Map. The blueberries. Ah! I knocked the number plate off this monument again. 17, Can you help 81, me put the right number plate back in place? Minus 17, 63. This uh, is 11. 11 minus 3. That is no, 8. 8 year dif or 18 year difference. Wow, are you smart? Give me the berries. Lap trap. Back to blue. To cross this bridge. Give me my berries. We still that one. Now one foot. Most ingenious. If I didn't mess it up, how dare Excellent. I? You know, you in looking at this now, this was the logical clue. one because I don't Only think they would have had. Only one more, and you may enter my cave. Thank you, sir. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Onward, Joni. Onward, Joni. Look. Are you sure you want to keep going? I hear Mathra has razor sharp claws. Big deal. And the sixty foot wingspan. Sixty foot. He does. And I hear he... I hear he likes to eat turbo turtles for breakfast. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, no. Okay. To cross this... Last one. Speed run this. We need to uncover ten letters in all. Which tile should we pick? Nine, sixty-six divided by two. Nine goes into... Uh, two goes into nine. Four times. That's eight... 16, 2 goes into 16 8 times. Uh, so there's 483. 483. Wise indeed. Yes. 6, 9, 4, 96, or 4, 71, minus 25, that's 6, 
446. I'm gonna go 446. Spread out more. Ah, uh, yes. Oof. 445 plus 15, that's 460, maybe, yeah, okay, ah, uh, yes, I have starts of three different words, because none of these are in line with each other, 264, or 964 divided by 2, 964 divided by 2, that's 4. 82. 482. Ah, yes. EIAS. EIAS. Full 61. Plus 17. 8. Seven four four seventy eight, which is not near any of them. So we're gonna sub one minus seventeen. That's four forty four. Well, this one is one of them. No oh. operate. I know what it is. And then it's you. And you. And you. And you. <laughs> Look at me. So correct. So correct. That's it. Amazing. You have uncovered the fifth and final clue. Ooh, the gold gra cross. the gold granite. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Here we go. Look! The clues from the bridges are on the wall. Let's do what the clues tell us. We'll find the key by using the clues in the right order. I is first. Next the ear. Knee is third. Now one foot. Nose is last. We did it! Ah yeah. Grab the key and put it in the backpack. Whoa! All right, who turned out the lights? Trap door! We! We? We? Ooh, I'm <laughs> dizzy. But we got the first key. We need the second key, and it's in the Goo Lagoon. I think with that, I will probably end this episode here, and I'll do the next one at the Goo Lagoon uh, last. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy it. I, I know most of you probably have no idea what this game is. Um, but for me, it was a nostalgic game. I'm having fun with it. Uh, thank you, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye!